Hello everyone, this is Mario Giganti, author of the book, The Retirement Bullseye. Today I'm gonna to share with you some ideas and proven strategies that are gonna help your employees save more now, invest wisely, and retire on time with a paycheck for life. I've been talking over the last couple months about courageous plan design and a concept that we call auto to the fifth power. And we've talked about things like automatic enrollment, automatic escalation, and automatic investment in the qualified default investment alternative. Today, we're gonna to talk about automatic re-enrollment of the investments. But before I do that, I just wanted to take a step back and remind you of what needs to happen when you adopt these automatic features and why they are so important to your employees. So first, you need to make sure that you've looked at your plan document and you've made the proper amendments or changes to ensure that the automatic features can be elected. Second, you've got to think about why you're doing this. Why did you make these changes? Ultimately, do you have a process in place to implement and monitor these automatic features? And third, and probably most important, you have to give notice to your employees. You see, you can lead them to water, but they ultimately have to decide whether or not they're gonna drink or not. So the notices allows them to make a choice of whether or not they want these automatic features to take hold. So again, very important that you look at the plan document, that you have a prudent process in place, and that you provide the notice. And when you do that, the Pension Protection Act in 2006 and the Department of Labor regulations that have happened since relieve you from fiduciary liability for making those decisions. And that's critical if you're a plan sponsor making these decisions. Now, ultimately, you wanna give your participants and employees the best chance to save for the future. And what I find is approximately 80 to 90% of the people I meet with aren't even aware that these automatic features exist, particularly automatic escalation. And what automatic escalation does, just to remind you, is it increases your employees' contributions at a percent per year at a minimum. They are startled to find out that that can be done automatically for them and they don't have to actually go in and do that. They forget, they know it's in their best intentions, but ultimately just never feel like they have the time to make that happen. So again, think about those automatic features, think about courageous plan design, and think about changing your mindset to help those 80 to 90% of people that need the retirement plan to create a paycheck for life where these automatic features will help them get there. So now on to today's topic, automatic re-enrollment of the investment options. Honestly, a pretty radical idea. How it works is you take the dollars that people have invested today and the contributions that they're going to make, make sure it's part of your document, make sure you follow a prudent process, make sure that you give notice, and you reinvest those dollars into the target date or qualified default investment alternative, essentially a glide path. Now, why would you do this? Well, I've uncovered three circumstances where I think automatic re-enrollment of the investments works. So the first circumstance is when you do an analysis of looking at the demographic data, taking the age of the individuals in your plan, and looking at how they're invested. Essentially, how much do they have invested in stock-based mutual funds? And we find two areas which would cause us to want to use automatic re-enrollment. The first is where your younger employees tend to be vested too conservatively. The second is where your older employees, on the opposite, tend to be invested more aggressively. So when you combine those two elements together and you look at automatic re-enrollment of the investments, essentially what you do is put them back on a proper glide path per the demographics and essentially know exactly how your employees are utilizing their investment options based on their age. Now again, where they're invested per a glide path may or may not be what's exactly right for them, but at least it gives them a fighting chance to be demographically invested appropriately. So the second circumstance where I find automatic re-enrollment of the investments appropriate is where a plan's been in place for 10, 20 years, and you've had employees that have had investments in that plan for 10 or 20 years. First, they're 10 or 20 years older, 
and they probably got into the plan in their 20s or 30s, and now they're probably in their late 40s or their 50s, could be in their 60s, and they've never changed their investment elections. They've never rebalanced their account. So what happens over most 20 year periods? Stocks tend to outperform bonds. So the investments they have in the stock market tend to be a higher percentage of their overall portfolio than they originally intended them to be. And while that's great while the market's going up, it's not so great when it's going down. And now that they're closer to retirement, it could have a more meaningful impact on them retiring on time with the paycheck for life. So automatic re-enrollment of the investments forces them to take a look at it. Remember, they can always opt out. They don't have to go along with it, but it's their choice. Now the third circumstance, and probably the most uh, prevailing circumstance that I see out there, is upon a plan conversion. You've gone through a prudent process to select a new record keeper or custodian. And upon that conversion, historically, most investments have just been mapped over to like investment options. What a great time to do automatic re-enrollment of the investments. Again, you give notice, and before, during, and in most cases after, your employees can take control of their circumstances, stay the way that they're, they're invested now, or make changes to their allocation, but you put them on path that's demographically correct from an investment perspective. So again, those are the three prevailing circumstances. Age versus equity is out of sync. The plan's been in place for a long time, or you're doing a plan conversion where I'd strongly encourage you to consider automatic re-enrollment of the investments. You might think about doing it every year. You might think about looking at it every couple years. But again, the idea is putting your employees back on a proper glide path for their demographics, again, versus an investment allocation. So until next time, this is Mario Giganti, author of the book, The Retirement Bullseye, and work with you to build proven strategies to help your employees save more now, invest wisely, and retire on time with a paycheck for life. Now, if you have any question as to how to build automatic re-enrollment re of the investment options into your retirement plan, or you just want to take a peek to see if it's appropriate for your employees and the demographics, please give us a call or shoot us an email. We'd be happy to give you a second opinion and happy to do an, an analysis on your behalf just for listening to this webinar. Thank you and have a good day.